We could just walk out the front door and see turtles. Turtles everywhere. Come on, no problem. This is how they clean their eyes. Oh, look at that beautiful movement. That is awesome, man. That's, I, I just love seeing them. The black throat monitor eggs, man. This is insane. 15 eggs. Hey, what's going on, everyone? And uh, today I want to give you an update because my buddy Chad showed up and he was asking, what's going on with Darwin? How's she doing? And I wanted to give you guys the full scoop. Darwin is doing amazing. She's eating, she's walking, she can hold her head up. This injury is healed from when she was stuck in the fence. We sincerely thank all of you happy campers out there. Your support makes a real difference in our efforts here at Camp Kennedy. This week's special shout out goes to Brandon Gramling. Thank you for all you do and for loving reptiles. This happened a lot quicker than I thought, Chad, because I yeah. thought when you, believe me, if you saw her in the condition she was in, like her neck wedged between two pieces of cement, um, your heart would have sank, man, yeah, it was horrible. Yeah. Um, here comes I'm actually teeth. shocked to see how good she's doing compared to how she was last month. Yeah. It was, it was just, ago. yeah, it was just nuts, man. Look at her go. I don't have um, just a powerful animal. And uh, again, I have to shout out my buddy, uh, Dr. Mike Gillum. Um, he, uh, from PGA Animal Clinic, I mean, we mobilized quickly and just got these, this tortoise uh, right on the proper medication and uh, just followed his uh, instructions. And look at her go, guys. Uh, her head's symmetrical. Um, there's no weirdness or crick in her neck. And then look at, look at Nostradamus. Were you just petting Nostradamus? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's the Nostradamus, like, hypnotized uh, kind of approach. Let's go. I'm going to get some more cactus here yeah, because she... Yeah, you got to look out, dude. You can break an ankle pretty easy over there. Uh, I'm just super excited. Um, it's always fun when Chad shows up to hang out. He's a reptile guy. We've met each other a long time ago. And he loves turtles, tortoises, snakes, crocodilians. He loves it all. And so it's always fun to have a buddy show up. And uh, when they're interested in your animal's well-being, uh, it shows how good a friend they are. And I'm glad uh, he stopped by. And I'm also glad that I get to update you guys because it's been a while. Uh, I wanted to show you how well she's done. So you can we can put to bed the saga of Darwin's neck injury. Um, <clears throat> I'd say this is a full recovery. Let's go ahead. I'm going to throw some cactus up here and see. See, there she goes. She's super interested. Um, head's being held up nicely. I think she's, uh, well, I think she's 100%, man. Let's just see her do her thing. Come on, baby. There she goes. Yes, get on in it. <laughs> I did notice, um, you know, my buddy over here, Nostradamus, seems like he has a tick that I want to get at. But again, look at how big uh, Socrates is getting too. Yeah, uh, Socrates most likely is a female. So hopefully she'll get as big as Darwin. Darwin's about 30 years old. Sox is uh, 16 years old. And Nostradamus is 17. Now, where was that tick? Did you guys see it? Oh, let me see. I don't know. Is there a tick right there? Yeah, I think there is. Let me see if I can. Oh, I feel it. I feel it. Got it. <laughs> these boogers this one was definitely a big fat one uh enjoying some aldabra tortoise blood but look at her go i mean this is great just get rid of that and then have a look here all kinds of activity going on here on the street today it's recycling day but look at her oh i love her so much i just want to Go ahead and gently touch her there. She's always been a little bit standoffish. She's not exactly the most affectionate tortoise, unlike this one here in Ostradamus, but I'm just glad she's doing much better. Let's see. Come on. And you have to think that, you know, after having your neck sprained like that, you wouldn't want to lift it either. I mean, it's that simple. Um, it was just, it's just time. Time for her to, you know, relax and be on the mend, man. I'm sure that abscess was bothering her as well. Yeah, good definitely. Grief. Yep, and so the the uh, good old um, antibiotics help that out. And again, you see this white right here? That's normal. We learned that from my friend Sam Piscucci, who actually you introduced me to. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was, it was, it was Chad who introduced me to Sam. And, uh, you know, we became good buddies, and he sure does know a lot about giant tortoises. So this is how they clean their eyes, white, foamy uh, stuff from their eyes. And you may have noticed a little um, 
a little fluid coming out of her nose that's actually from the cactus um so you you know she can sometimes get fluid to come out of her nose as she eats this juicy cactus and here comes someone who always loves juicy cactus as well come on nah no problem so what i also did was i i fixed um i went around and i fixed any of the other potential dangers to these guys as far as their necks getting caught um there really weren't many uh, it was just a perfect storm, man. You know, it's funny. My my friend uh, Tom Crutchfield, you know Tom. Of he, course. Uh, he uh, said a long time ago. He goes, if you can imagine it happening, <laughs> it'll happen. Absolutely yeah. right. You have to take all the right steps to protect your animals. Definitely. Now, see, pain in the neck. She's not as friendly, and I see some small ticks on this one. Here, why don't you do me a solid, mate? Feed her. Well, you Feed her while I try yeah. and get these ticks off. They're tiny. These little ones. Yeah, she's. <laughs> God, I, I'm. Yeah, look at that. She's a beast. And man. I squeeze them and kill them here. Let me just erase that tick from existence. And then there's one more. Yeah, she's. Oh, she's working hard. Yep. Let me see Wait, if we can reach, get this. Reach, reach. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Oh, oh God. My fingers aren't as dexterous as they should be. Just my fingers. I think I'm getting close here. Yeah, yeah. Come on, man. How brave are you, dude? <laughs> That's a test of your manhood or bravery, rather. Right, come on, reach for this cat. There's one more. Hang on. Let me let her reach out. Here. All right. I'm gonna finish chewing that. She's got a mouthful. She does have a mouthful of cacti. This is the Opuntia cactus. Um, all cactus is a new world plant, believe there it or not. There we go. Um, and there's reach, plenty reach, of, reach, yeah, reach, thanks. Reach. There's plenty of cactus. There it is. Oh, look at that beautiful movement. That is awesome, man. That's I, I just love seeing them just crane up like I didn't. One more time, man. Maybe you can grab I'll it. I'll see if I can get it. I'll just make her crane Watch up. Us. Come on. It's a tiny one. Oh yes, you got it. I got it. Good. Oh, she got me. Awesome. Yeah, I got the tick. All right, man. Well, I'm happy. We're filling the water up. Uh, that's going well. Just super psyched. Look at her. She's climbing up on the uh, on the side of the watering hole. So very good stuff. I'd say Darwin has made a perfect recovery. So pretty excited. Um, Hey, I know you haven't been over in a while. You want to go check out Slinky? Yeah, let's do it. Come on, man. I want to show him Slinky's enclosure. I and uh, it since, uh, I know it. it's been a little while. So big thumbs up for everyone who took the time to comment and uh, send their well wishes to Darwin. It really it mattered to me, and I appreciate that. Um, just so stoked that that animal's doing good, man. Uh, I think it might have been almost as traumatic for you. I think so. When you when you roll up on your animal oh, in distress, yeah. I mean, seeing her, I thought she was dead. I'm thankful Kate was here too. Yes, a, Kate was the one that was actually Kate the Great. I think we name her now. That is her name, Kate the Great. We do love uh, love the old Katie Poo. Her name's not Katie though. You can't call her that. Uh, there's a little curly tail lizard. Some of you like to see some of the non-natives that make their home here. Been mowing the lawn, looking good. We got a lot of water in the pond. You guys saw me in there a couple, uh, I think last week, just getting the uh, big turtles checked on. The fly rivers are doing good. The Batiger finished, but let's go in and visit with Slinks. Super stoked on this, buddy. Here's a curly tail right here, look. You don't want to go in there, Mr. Curly Tail. <laughs> That'll be the last thing you did. All right, let's see if he's out and about. Where is he at? Look at this cage. Can you believe this thing, man? It is fun. I mean, it was a nightmare building, but uh, super happy. The cool thing about it is, it is difficult to find Slinky. <laughs> hey, Slinky, are you in your house? I did see he, he grabbed one of the bio ball bags. I'm gonna have to grab that. Let me go ahead and grab yeah, that. Would you hold that yeah, for yeah, me? Yeah, oh, I don't wanna get you wet. You're gonna work later on. But he likes to go into the... Um, he gets in there and digs around. Yes. Shut. Low clearance. Let's just go ahead and put this down here. We'll get some more rock on top of it. He's coming around right in front of you. Where is he? There he is. That's my boy. How cool is that, huh? <laughs> that I didn't even see him. No. I didn't even see him. I thought he was in his house. So it's pretty neat that a large lizard like this gets to kind of hide and wander around and feel secure. What did I do, man? Did I did I screw things up for you? Were you kind of rearranging everything, buddy? Is this lizard not the best, man? It's pretty dope. Yeah, he's awesome. And you can see, guys. Sure he's test digging around here. Oh yeah. Oh, he's find his way out. Oh yeah, just like in Jurassic like, this is Park. This is great, Kenan, but I'm I want out of here. Oh yeah, you know, you can never make it big enough for the dude. Uh -huh. But uh, yeah, look at this. So he's digging around. Um, we have cement on the bottom here. We got wire, then cement. It is extremely well built. Um, 
Our knit wire right here has been holding up beautifully. Uh, and my buddy Jerry uh, Wolf has been, you met Jerry, you know Jerry? Good dude, yeah. Great dude, man. So thanks to him for helping me out. We also have some great news. Did I tell you that we got 15 black throat eggs? No. Holy shit. They're huge. They're massive. Oh yeah. Really? They're in my incubator right now. 15 black throat eggs. Awesome. Um, it is really cool. I'll tell you what, we could they're, run in there and I'll show you the eggs. Black are one of my favorites. They're so freaking cute. They're amazing, yeah. dude. So I'm pretty excited about that. So a lot of cool updates here uh, on today's video. Just letting you guys know what's going on. Here's the slinkers. Um, yeah, so we're going to have more baby monitors, more Bobby Rubinos. It's going to be awesome. And uh, I've got some footage of her, uh, of him taking the eggs out of her uh, enclosure. So pretty good stuff, man. Um, but there he is. There is Slinks. How great is he? Oh, yeah, you're puffing up. That's my boy. Such a cool lizard, man. He knows it's going to get, it's feeding day today. Oh, that's, Listen how solid. That's, what's up. that's a big lizard, dude. That's a good lizard. But yeah, this enclosure is great. Loving it. Everything's growing just like this Mexican papyrus and regular old papyrus and blue Hawaii uh, alocasia. And oh, man, I love it. Um, Stuart Dunn from Universal Rocks has been checking in with me. He is definitely going to come help us dress this up. Uh, but unfortunately, due to COVID and all the shipping uh, delays, he's unable to get his, um, his product, the, the raw materials to build the foam, to make the foam. Uh, in the meantime, check it out. There's the pond looking good. And uh, Slinky loves it, man. So this whole thing has been a, a resounding success for Slinky. Very, very cool. I love this guy. All right, hey, before we go, let's wander inside. I want to show you these black throats. Yeah, I'd love to. All right, come on, man. This is so cool. So I'll even. I'm I got it. Super curious. Oh yeah, <laughs> they're they're the best lizards, man. They're so, uh, just like you said, curious, inquisitive, great animals. I have to. I, I hate to do it to you, buddy. Can no, you hold that? Real quick? I got you. Uh, this thing, it just takes a little bit finagling because it's settled a little bit there we go awesomeness there you go thank you sir mm -hmm. yeah i'm i'm pumped i didn't i forgot to tell you guys about the um black throat eggs so yeah just earlier this week um i was able to go over to jerry's on my way home from a recent trip to north carolina your old neck of the woods yep. and um i wound up uh it was the perfect time and i came home uh, on the way home, uh, I went and picked up these eggs. He doesn't have an incubator, so part of the deal is I incubate him, and uh, yeah, he's going to be extremely nice to me, and uh, he's given me uh, two of the babies that hatch. So we'll have three black throats here at Camp Cannon. Oh, by the way, that pond's good. Everything's just doing really well, man. Lots of rain. Look at how, how much water's in our main pond so much now um don't mind this garage i need to clean it so this is going to be a fun way to kind of end the video with the hope of new baby monitors um here's the good old incubator let's see well we've got rhino eggs right here let's see how they're doing all looking nice and nice nice and thick and plump I like putting that paper towel over it. Well, might as well check it. Hey, we got more baby sulcatas. Got to pull these guys out. That'll be cool. Check this one while we're at it. Nothing. But down here, check this out, bro. Down here are the black throat monitor eggs, man. This is insane. 15 eggs. Wow. And they look great. There was one slug. So there were 16 eggs and one slug. Wow. But uh, there's 10 here and then five in this one. Yeah, and awesome. uh, they're looking fantastic. Uh, it's going to take about nine months for these to incubate, bro. Like a person. Yeah, exactly. Baby human. That is like a long time, man. So there you have it. Um, that's the update there, Chad. Very nice. There's the update, people. I hope you guys like it. Let's go right out the front door and give you a, you know, why finish up inside when we could just walk out the front door and see turtles, turtles everywhere. Oh yeah, I had to fix my 
first Oxstay pond, uh, one of the pumps, you know, just broke down. But luckily for me, we have some friends here uh, at good old uh, Octoscape that sent us some of that. Looks like I have a visitor. I'm gonna have to cut the video right now. And uh, hey, I'll leave you with this beautiful little radiated tortoise having some collard greens. See you guys later.